You're listening to MPS Connections with your host, AJ Hoffman. Welcome to MPS Connections. I'm your host, AJ Hoffman. I'm here with Mr. Zimmer and a few of his students for, from the uh, Math Counts competition. Math Counts is a, an individual and a team competition. It's been around for 30 plus, plus or minus years. Mm -hmm. And Jefferson's been participating in it for about 25 plus or minus years, correct? Yes, that's know? correct, yes. Right. Okay, cool. Um, so uh, tell us a little bit more about Math Counts, Mr. Zimmer. Well, Math Counts is a competition open to 6th through 8th grade students, whether they're in public school, private school, or homeschooled. Um, and I first learned about it my first year teaching here at Jefferson. I was at parent-teacher conferences in the fall, and a parent came up to me and asked if I'd be interested in coaching the competition here at Jefferson. And not knowing what it was going to entail, I just decided, sure, why not? How hard can it be? <laughs> and it was a lot more than I ever expected it to be. It's a lot of different types of questions that the kids have to be at, ready to prepare to answer. Um, they have a sprint round where they have to answer 30 questions in 40 minutes, and they cannot use a calculator. And then they have a target round that has eight much more difficult questions. They only get two of them at a time, but they do get to use a calculator. And then um, they compete against head to head against each other, but then there's also a team part, which is the, what the four of them got to work together on 10 problems. And then they're competing against other schools to see what the total amount of correct answers that they can get. And they earn different amount of points depending on the, the level of the questions that they have. Let's just say, for example, this year, what, what does a, a local competition look like? So we start off here, Jefferson, just our 30, about 30 students that competed head to head. Our top 10 then travel to SVSU and they take um, schools from Mount Pleasant, um, Midland area, Saginaw area. We have Tawas was the furthest away that competed this year. And then they each bring their own amount of students. Some schools bring a team of four like we have here but then other schools will bring 10 like Jefferson does to compete in the individual levels. And then we spend the whole morning doing the writ written competition, which they'll do individually, and that's the team competition as well. And then we nervously eat lunch and wait to find out how we, do, uh, how we did in the morning. And then in the afternoon, they call the top 10 down individually in front of everyone, and they have to do a head-to-head, one-on-one uh, speed round, kind of very similar to Jeopardy. It's intense. I, yeah, I watched that online a little bit. It's, it's uh, very intense, the one-on-one -on -one rounds, right? It is. They have a buzzer and everything. They're yeah. waiting to get called on. And the faster you can read, the better it is. Because they'll read the question, and if you can buzz in fast enough, they stop reading it right then, and then yeah. they answer it. And some of them uh, will buzz in a little too fast once in a while and not be prepared to answer the questions. <laughs> that gets them in trouble. It yeah, does get them in trouble that. sometimes, but they, it, we do a lot of practice with that um, throughout all of the months that we prepare for this. How, now, are you the only coach for, for Math Counts? I have. The, for the last seven years, I've been the, the head coach for Math Counts. How does one coach for something like this? Um, it's, it's kind of similar to how you coach for a sport. I was a soccer coach for years and I kind of use the same idea then with the math counts practice, lots and lots of practice and they enjoy it definitely as you can tell, but, uh, lots of practice problems, um, get them to work together. That's what it, it's an individual competition, but they have to be willing to help each other because the better they do individually, the better we do as a team. So getting them to actually teach one another some of the formulas that they learn in their other math classes that can apply to math counts or just some of the strategies that they um, use when they're trying to solve these problems. Since speed matters, the way that they learn how to do math in a regular math classroom doesn't, isn't always the most effective way to solve these problems. So they're looking for patterns, they're looking for shortcuts so they can get the answer Accurate and but also quick. Understandable. Now we all know Mr. Zimmer. He's a math teacher and the coach. We should go around the table real quick and have you each each introduce yourself. So go ahead, Katie. Let's start with you. Go ahead and introduce yourself and tell me you're you're great. Um, I'm Katie Kai and I'm in seventh grade. Vettel. Um, I'm Vettel Xu. I'm in seventh grade as well. Um, I'm David Han. I'm in eighth grade. I am Raymond Chai. I'm in seventh grade. 
So Katie, let me start with you. At the regional competition, individual athletes go head to head. Does it look the same way at the state co- at the state competition, and how does how does the team competition compare? Well, like at the regional competition, it's like kind of there's less people、um, than the state, and a state the questions are like difficult, and in like the state there's also the head to head countdown round, and but like the people in states when they go to the countdown, sometimes like. Before the problem is like finished, like they start answering, and it's like a lot quicker. And for the team competition, we have ten questions as a team, and like we normally like divide it with us four people, so then like we can finish it quicker. Okay, that makes sense, guys. Do you have anything to add to that?、Mm-hmm. No. Well, I'll add one thing. Katie here is actually the first Jefferson student to make it to the top ten head-to-head competition at the state level.、Uh, we've the previous years we had a, a student that placed eleventh. She was one point out from being in the top ten. So we were very excited to see Katie go up on stage, and she made it sound like it wasn't that as. Difficult as it truly was at the regional level, when they see the questions, the audience is at their back, so they don't have to see the audience when they're answering. But at the state level, they put them up on stage, and all of the athletes are facing the audience to answer each of the questions,、oh. which adds a little bit more stress, Intens- and intensity, and stress. Yeah, de- definitely.、Sure. Yes, just, just a little bit more stress. <laughs> I can imagine. Yeah, definitely. And. In- Katie, did you make it to you? You got third place, is that right?、Uh, no, as a team, we got third place. But、um, for the written competition, I got seventh. But then I moved up to sixth、um, after the countdown round. That's impressive. That's incredibly impressive. There were around one hundred thirty or so students、yeah. that competed. Yeah, to、wow. say six, and this is the best of the best in the state. Yeah. It's a, how many teams again are are competing? There were tw- the、uh, just under twenty five full teams that were at the state this year. I think it was twenty two. It might have been, and then rest are individuals. So what will happen is the best the team from each region moves on, but then the top individuals from each region make it as well. So you'll have some students that are extremely strong, might be a little bit better than their team is. So those are the people that they're also competing head to head with. That's impressive. Raymond, you guys place higher than any other team in school history. Tell me a little bit about that. So, the way the team score is calculated is using all of our individual scores、uh, added in with our team round score, which is the ten difficult questions that we divide up and solve together as a team. And so, with that score, our team scored. Third place at the state, which is completely amazing, how we achieved that,、um, and some team members on our team might have done a little bit more work than others. Who did more work? Was it Katie? Katie. Yeah, I wouldn't say she did more work. She they they all did a lot of work. She just was a little more successful than the other students. Just a、day. little bit more successful. <laughs> But we still individually, Vettel was twelfth in the state. Um, Raymond, you were seventeenth in the state, so we had three students in the top twenty, and then David, you ended up thirty fifth. I think yeah, it was right, thirty fifth in the state. So it was it was a team effort. Well, they like to joke around that Katie is their、uh, their savior to get、yeah. them to the to get their place. It's a, it truly is a team. Team effort, especially the team round. They do divide up the problems. Katie does not answer all ten questions. <laughs> they they do divide them up, and、uh, they do a lot of work. Where where is the regional competition held at?、Uh, this year is at SVSU. Okay, and then the the state competition. We were at Dearborn at the GM. Tech Center, thank you.、Um, that the state competition moves around. We've been at Michigan State. We've been、um, SVSU hosted it one year, so they kind of every other year it moves to a new location. Gotcha, but that's fun field trip, right? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> field trip. I mean, some people have to wake up at like five thirty to drive like three hours. So <laughs> like, you have to go and get like a hotel. Right. Yeah. 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 At the state competition, my hotel was. Um, way too hot, and also 
there were people like screaming on the floor above us, so I had amazing sleep. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> my uh, like air conditioner was kept on buzzing and yeah, it wouldn't like turn off. Hard to get proper rest and be comfortable for a big competition. Mm-hmm. Like that, huh? yeah. yeah, no matter what, they would have been nervous. So <laughs> they would have been something, no matter what. <laughs> Vettel, what is it about math that inspires or drives you guys? Well, first, like math is like really fun. And, like, we're obviously, you know, okayly good at it, you know. So, yeah, it's, it's like, very fun when you see that you achieved a lot in math. And it also gains us lots of experiences if we're going into uh, STEM fields. Absolutely. Okayly is a word that I'm going <laughs> to... So hopefully Graham really picks up on that. <laughs> What about the rest of you guys? Well, what is it about math that inspires you guys or just gets you interested in that? I think for me, it's also really fun, like, um, finally, like, solving a hard problem. And then also just the process of problem solving throughout math counts is just really fun. Yeah. Yeah, mine was, like, similar to Raymond, what he said, like, the creativity and, like, like what goes through your head in order to like solve a difficult problem and the satisfaction mm-hmm. that comes around when you like eventually do solve it. Sure. Can yeah, you know it's like kind of like so- like solving a jigsaw puzzle. It's like at first when you don't do anything, it might seem hard, but like as you put it together like piece by piece, it like become it becomes like easier, and then like when you finally get it right, it's like pretty satisfying. I'm sorry, what kind of puzzle is it that you... Like a jigsaw puzzle. Oh, like a jigsaw puzzle. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. Okay, okay, that makes sense. Now, what are some of your interests or clubs outside of math counts? David, let's start with you. Well, for me, I I love to play golf. Golf is sort of like my life, kind of almost. I play three, four hours every day. And um, I also like soccer, playing soccer a lot. So I like sports. That's one of my hobbies, and also like, like finance and economics. I'm I'm kind of into that stuff because like so, I think it was some last summer, uh, me and my friends saw this video and we started our like own like small business sort of thing online. We'll talk about that. What's that? Go ahead. Well, so, so it's kind of it's like this thing called drop shipping. Oh, okay. Yes, and we started a Shopify store Very online. Cool. Well, those things definitely add to you know, your your interests outside of school and outside of math counts yep. for sure. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, math count. I I mean, golf. You needed a lot of math with that. You've got all kinds of different drivers, and you know, it's that's where yeah. I I I love golf, but it I feel terribly at it with figuring out the the different driver numbers and all that stuff. It's yeah. <laughs> Uh, what about the rest of you? I, in addition to math counts, I am also involved in robotics. So, in robotics, not only do you get to build amazing robots, you also get to program them and share the amazing program with others. Um, I also do tennis, um, which is pretty fun, <laughs> I guess. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah, um, I am uh, also a tennis player, and so I mean we can we can do varsity doubles when we go out of high school, yeah. <laughs> and yeah, I really like tennis. I play like about like eight to ten hours each week. Holy smokes! Yeah, and um, I also do percussion. So that's like about like a hundred something instruments, you know, very fun. Uh, and I also do robotics. Percussion is certainly the most numbers oriented instrument in the whole Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the whole spectrum of instruments. <laughs> so uh, where are you planning on going to school? are you gonna go to Dow High, Midland High? Probably Dow High. Oh, and if you guys are in the tennis program there, it's, yeah. we've got future state champions here for the tennis program. <laughs> <laughs> no <go>. pressure. <laughs> yeah, no pressure. I don't think there will be. If Mr if Coach Schwarzkopf is still there, you guys will be fine. Yeah. yeah. What about you, Katie? Any other outside interests or anything like that? Hobbies? Well, like, I play viola, so like, go orchestra. 
and like the, uh, school orchestra. Yeah, school orchestra. <laughs> <laughs> go band, go band, guys. Yeah, go band. Yeah, yeah. Go orchestra. <laughs> and I also like read a bit. Like sometimes I puzzle and like I draw and like you know that stuff. Could yeah. you guys see yourselves being future coaches for math counts? No. Very possible. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> no. I doubt it. I doubt it. <laughs> well, I didn't exactly expect me to be coaching math counts either, so you never know what you'll end up doing. Mr. Zimmer, do they do this um, in, in the high school, at the high school level? Um, they don't do math counts, but they have other math competitions that they can uh, take part in. Uh, Dow High has a math uh, club that they have that then they, at their practices, they get ready for some of the other different uh, competitions that are available. AMC 10, AMC 12, um, and then there are a few other uh, competitions similar to math counts where they have to travel to either a university or a different place to compete head to head. Gotcha. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Um, what are you? What are you guys' goals for next year? Are you all going to be returning to the Jefferson team next year? No, I'm, I'm going to high school. For You're going to high school. Yeah. You can't just be held back for. We can work on that. We'll be back when we're here. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I wish. I wish David could still be here next year. <laughs> David, for next year, when you go into high school, do any of your do you have any math goals that you think might translate into into high school? Yeah, definitely. Like my parents and me, I'm interested in like participating in DECA because like. A lot of my like friends, their brothers, like they went to DECA and some of them won some like awards or something. And I thought it looked really cool and I just wanted to do it. It's definitely a fun club. Yeah. yeah. You'll have a lot of um, pre mentorship and stuff in, in the DECA, you know, club as well. So mm -hmm. it's such a big team. Yeah. Yeah, the other three will be back though. Okay. Yeah. So what are your goals for for next year then? Mine's probably like get top 10 in state because um, I was actually really close. I made a dumb mistake. 36 minus 8 is totally 24, you know. <laughs> yeah. Oh. If I got that right, I would have been top 10. Yeah. So, yeah, that's my goal. Fair enough. How about you, Katie? Yeah, probably like top 10 too. And maybe like our team next year could maybe get like try and beat our score right now for like third place. Maybe mm -hmm. we could try and become like second or first. Yeah. yeah. But that might be like a stretch. <laughs> <laughs> it will be difficult. <laughs> Fair enough. How about you? What is, what's your goal for next year? I think my goal is probably to get into top 10. Yeah. As well. Um, if I hadn't made a dumb mistake, um, like, like, just completely freezing. Like, I was not paying attention for the first question or two. And I got the first two questions, the easiest questions. Both are off. Both of us. <laughs> Same thing. Both of them. We both did, yes. If I had gotten just one of those right, then that I would have been in top ten. But Well, it doesn't seem like unrealistic goals for any of you for top ten for next year. Experience is big. And yeah. having the experience of being at the state level now and um, seeing what it's like, they'll, they'll, they'll be more confident, I believe, next year. Right, absolutely. Well, the reason we're having you guys on the show this year is because it sounds like you... Well, we've never had a, a team place that high before in the history of what, the last 30 years. No. So the last 30, 25, 30 years that we've been participating in the Math Counts competition, we've never had a team place this high. So congratulations to all of you guys. These are your, your trophies right here up front. The camera can see that. Yeah, that's, yeah. We're, we're all very proud of you and... Yeah, thank you guys for being on the show. So, is there anything else you guys would like to add about math counts or anything you'd like to talk about or add that I haven't addressed yet? I, th I would like to say that math counts is an amazing program <laughs> and that uh, if you have any like kids that you know, then definitely get them involved in this yeah. fun experience. Yeah. Could you guys see yourselves being the future coaches for math counts? No. Very possible. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> no. I doubt it. I doubt it. <laughs> well, I didn't exactly expect me to be coaching math counts either, so you never know what you'll end up doing. Your, your trophies right here up front. The camera can see that. Yeah, it's, we're, we're all very proud of you. And yeah, thank you guys for being on the show. So, 
Um, that is our show. We'd like to thank all of our listeners around the district, around the country, and around the world for tuning, tuning in. We have launched a district Instagram page, and you can find and follow us by searching for the handle at Midland Public Schools. If you have a story idea, photo op, or event you'd like to promote, you can email us at communications at midlandps.org. Thanks again for listening. Do you have an idea for a podcast? Email us at communications at midlandps.org.